Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over geostationary satellites. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing it says here is that the Earth rotates on an axis. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to make one complete revolution. And that's why one day is 24 hours in length. And if you look at the picture here, you can see the Earth is tilted on its axis at about 23 degrees to the vertical. And we've got the North Pole and the South Pole highlighted there, and also the equator through the middle. So we're saying that the Earth rotates about this vertical axis that goes through the centre of the Earth, and it takes 24 hours for it to go around once. It then says here that geostationary satellites are satellites that have a period of 24 hours and orbit around the equator. And since the period of the satellite is the same as the period of the Earth's rotation, and that just means the time taken for the satellite to go around the Earth once is the same as the time taken for the Earth to spin once on its axis. And because of that, we can say the satellite will remain in a stationary orbit above the same point on the Earth's surface, moving with the Earth as it rotates. And I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualise this. So here we have the Earth, and if I click play, you see the axis going through the middle. Now we know it should be on a tilt at about 23 degrees to the vertical, but this is just a simple animation which doesn't show that tilt. And you've got the North and South Poles labelled there and the equator through the middle. So if I click play here, we can see the movement of a geostationary satellite around the Earth. And it's a geostationary satellite because it appears to remain above the same point on the Earth's surface, i.e. at the same point above the equator at all times. And remember that's because the Earth takes 24 hours to spin once on its axis, and a geostationary satellite goes round the Earth once in 24 hours. And because these times match up, it makes the geostationary satellite appear to remain above the same point on the Earth's surface, although it is actually moving around the Earth. And that's where the idea of the word stationary comes from in the word geostationary. Going back to the notes now, it says that geostationary satellites orbit at an altitude, i.e. a height above the Earth's surface, of 36,000 kilometres. And we can see that in the picture here. So here's our Earth and here's our geostationary satellite. And you can see the altitude above the Earth's surface going from this point all the way to this point is a distance of 36,000 kilometers, which is the same as 22,300 miles. To conclude, there are two key things that you need to remember about geostationary satellites. The first thing is that they have an orbital period of 24 hours, which just means they go around the Earth once in 24 hours. And the second thing is that they orbit at an altitude of 36,000 kilometers, and that's just the height above the Earth's surface. Now, I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualize this. So if you look here, we've got a satellite orbiting the Earth, and we're given the period of the satellite, which is just the time taken for the satellite to make one full revolution around the Earth, and that's currently 11.8 hours, and we have the distance from the surface of the Earth to the satellite, and that's currently 19,835 kilometres. And if we look at the left-hand side, it says how far from the Earth should a satellite be for it to take 24 hours to orbit the Earth? And if we look at the answer here, we should now know that a satellite that takes 24 hours to orbit above the equator appears to stay in the same place above the Earth. It completes one orbit in the same time that it takes for the Earth to rotate once, i.e. one day. An orbit like this is called geostationary. So if we increase the distance between the satellite and the Earth, you'll notice how that increases the period of the satellite as well. And if we get up to about 24 hours here, you'll notice that the distance from the satellite to the Earth is roughly 36,000 kilometres if we round it up. And these are the two key facts that you need to remember for geostationary satellites. The fact they have a period of 24 hours and they orbit at an altitude of 36,000 kilometers. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.